command line input and output redirection in Unix. There are three standard streams of input and output for programs in Unix. There's the standard input, which defaults to the keyboard, the standard output, which defaults to the terminal display, and then there's the standard error, which also defaults to the terminal display. So a Unix program expects input from the keyboard and it outputs its output, whether it's error or regular output, to the terminal. That's the way it generally works. There are ways of redirecting this input and output. If you want to redirect the input from a file, you use the less than sign. For example, you could have a command and then you would use the less than sign and then put the file path for the file that you want to get the input from. Or you could direct output of a command to a file and this will delete the existing file by the same name. And we're talking about redirecting the standard output stream. So a command like this one would take input from this file and output it to this file. That's what these less than and greater than signs are there for files. Now, if you want to direct the output to a file, but you don't want it to delete the file, you want it to append to the end of the file, then you use two greater than signs. Now, let's say the input and output are not coming from or going to files. They are going to other commands. So the output of one command would be, I meant to say the output of one command would be the input of another command. So the output of the command on the left would be the input to the command that's on its right. And possibly even more commands, another command. Okay, then you would use the pipe. You don't use the greater than for that. Okay, so it's important to know when you use the less than or greater than or when you use a pipe. By the way, most commands that expect input from a file usually will have an argument where you can specify that file location. If that file specification is missing, then it assumes the input is coming from standard input, which is usually the keyboard. And if it doesn't find input from the keyboard and it sees instead that you specified redirection from a file, then it's going to get, it from, get the input from a file. That's how these things work in Unix. I want to give an example of that last thing I talked about. You know, a command that takes a file as an argument but when that file is missing, it expects input from the keyboard. And if you don't want to give it input from a keyboard, you could use redirection instead. Okay, so I'm going to show where it expects the input from the keyboard part. The word count command usually takes an argument that's a file. So you would type word count and then you would specify the file. And then it'll spit out the number of words, lines, and characters in the file. Okay, well, what if you just type word WC for word count and hit enter? Well, now it's waiting for input from the keyboard instead of the file. So let's say I give it some words. Okay, now I want to terminate this without killing the word count process. So to do that, and this is very important, you hit Control D. That gives it the end of file character. So just like at the end of each line, we hit enter, and that's a line return character. The Control D is the end of file instead of end of line. So that way we basically created a file dynamically at the keyboard while the program word count was running. Now, all of this could have been avoided if we used redirection from a file or we piped it in, piped something to word count from another command. The key thing I wanted to show you here is that actually when you do run a command like that, that it and you don't give it a file as an argument, it does actually expect the input to be from the keyboard and it'll wait for it. The other thing to take from this is the control D for the end of file.